Mariki to get to the front and make this quick. It's a quick track. Yeah, but I don't think the other athletes in this race will let her have it her own way. And as we see that Erin Wallace just getting to the front uh, with Izzy Boffy on her shoulder. So really excited to see how this race unfolds. Well, Erin Wallace, she's competed here before. A uh, world indoor 1500 meter runner two years ago, Erin Wallace. Medalist over the 1500 meters last year and Boffy the reigning champion just poised nicely in second back by about a meter Ellie Baker in fourth Riki looking for a spot on the team if she comes in the top two here she will qualify for the world indoors which is at home in Glasgow Riki just sitting comfortably in third at the moment and now just starting to glide past Izzy Boffy and it is Wallace leading another Scottish athlete 57 82 that is quick and Wallace still charging at the front. I can't believe how quick that is. 57.82 at 400. Well, this is a quick like a track. Maker. It is a quick track, and Riki is around 159.42 this year. The championship best performance by Joe Mersch from 21 years ago, 159.74. Wallace again acting like a bit of a pacemaker in this race, and now Riki at the bell, just coming to the front, 128. 39, Boffy is still there, Baker some five metres back, but it is Gemma Riki at the front, and this is the speed, she had to be patient to find a moment, and now Boffy on the charge as well, has Wallace got anything left in the tank over the final hundred? But it is Gemma Riki, the favourite, the UK leader, the fourth fastest in the world this year, coming home to take the goal here at the UK Championships, Boffy with a fine run as well. How quick is this going to be? Could this be inside the British record? 158, 25, that is incredibly quick, but not quite a British record. Gemma Riki. 60 metres, but a brilliant run from her. Look, time to glance over her shoulder there, and I think that's superb. And the second quickest time in the world this year in the UK Championship. She did have a brilliant pacemaker for the first 600 metres. Uh, that was fortunate, to put it mildly, but nonetheless, what a way to finish the championships, possibly the track performance of the weekend.